Fun. Alright, so we've got uh, pretty basic bands coming out, pretty default bands. Jax, Kale, both Jax and Kale, even though they're both in uh, bands, still a lot of people still consider them very um, powerful picks. So uh, both gone. Brown got a ban uh, Brown got a nerf as well, but he's still going down. So did Yasuo actually. <laughs> and Caitlyn ban the final ban. Interesting. Okay, now jungler's locked in. Our first jungle locked in straight away with a Vi pick. Um, Vi's kind of fallen off, but she I, she's still a really strong pick. Still one of my favourites as well, and even like um, Maokai's come back a lot now with the big buffs to him. So uh, no one's banned him yet. I, I don't. I guess neither team has practiced Maokai much to worry about banning him right now, and they're just going to stick to a yeah, going <laughs> to stick to a more comfortable picks for now. So we've got Evelyn <clears throat> for Vortex and. Could be a Morgana support or mid. A bit mid. Most likely support. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah, it's, it's quite funny the transition, isn't it? Like, as soon as she started becoming a popular support player, she just seemed to completely fall off being a uh, mid, mid player, mid champion. Uh, Karma support coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he's coming back. Well, I've seen him quite a few times actually. Like, like he completely I just. I think everyone forgot about him because he just. I mean, I know he's originally designed to be a mid laner, but he's just completely turned into a half support champ now, really, and. Whenever he's seen, it's just he's in support role. But it's still quite a. Uh, not picked much, but still around slightly. We've got a Karma and Jinx locked in for bus drive Connor. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> yeah, that, that's going to be a force to be reckoned with, I think. Quite interested to see who, who do you think uh, Morgana's going to be matched with on bot lane? Uh, I'm, I'm thinking Lucian. I'm thinking it's going to be Lucian. Oh, Graves. That'd be interesting. Oh. <laughs> We've got Graves, Morgana versus Jinx, Karma, bot lane. So, what, what do you think on bot lane? What, what do you think? Uh, Either side wants to aim for. Which side do you think is going to be more aggressive, or do you think it'll be quite a relaxed, chilled out lane and just a bit of a poke? Hello? Headset messing around. I'm still here. <laughs> All right. No stream. I my mic. I've done to everything for the past ten minutes already. Yeah. Sorry. As you were saying. Yeah, as I was saying before. Um, how do you think bot lane's gonna go down? Which side do you think is gonna be more aggressive? Yeah. Yeah. They've got. They've got a better poke, don't they? Yeah. I think Morgana. 
will decide the wait, hold on, now it is a Morgana mid. Or is they just trolling? Okay, yeah, they're trolling. <laughs> Can't roar. Wait, I'm, oh, wait, okay, okay. I won't say anything until we see where he's locked in. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna speculate anything right now. But it will be quite interesting if he does uh, lock in through that. Oh, apparently they can only hear me. I'm trying to sort it out. It's bugging me. <laughs> it's a real goggly headset sometimes. And that's the Ori. Yeah, so it is Morgana support. And Hello, Oriana please. mid. Is this Hello? stream? Am I clearer, louder? Test, test. Test, test, yes, test. Test, test, test. <laughs> We'll see, because there's a delay, isn't there, on the stream? <clears throat> it's a new headset, for some reason, it just likes to play. I, I hear a kind of echo now, so I assume that it will be, like, coming on the stream. Yeah. Most likely. But no, it's just, it's been... Oh, no, no, it works, it works, it's Does all it... good. I just, I just heard my voice on the stream. No, I don't know what it is, it's always been really weird with it. I mean, no matter what I go on, I've got to fuck about this end constantly. <laughs> so, yeah, it's just weird. Okay, in we go. Eventually? Yes. <laughs> I'm just looking at uh, Bus Driver Connor's team comp right now. A lot of their champions have got heavy poke, and I think that They'll be wanting to uh, snowball a lot. They've got a lot of snowball potential there. You think? Yeah, I, I definitely feel like they have the advantage early game, especially with LeBlanc and the Vi Jungle. But I'm thinking later on in the game, if it still remains quite even, I think uh, Vortex will have the advantage because, as you can see, they've got the Eve ultimate, they've got the Morgana ultimate, Ori ultimate. Well, I mean, like all their ultimates. Uh, are, are just perfect for team fighting, and whereas I'd say bus driver Connors aren't so much, they're more for picking people off. So I think Vortex are going to be aiming to try and sustain themselves until um, later on when they can start forcing some team fights. Probably try and force, you know, like get them around to Dragon or Baron later on. Just try and they they want to try and get bus driver Connor. They just want they want to get bus driver Connor into a team fight as soon as they can. Um, they, they don't want to give uh, the LeBlanc and the Vi the chance to level too much. No, yeah, definitely. I mean, let's be honest, it's going to be a basic board delivery system with Shirana. Mm -hmm. I mean, we've seen it in the NALCS and it works fine with you know teams that do it, but in all fairness, I think any team can pretty much pull it off as long as you're all speaking to them and with the rest of them, as soon as they get locked down with the Shivana and Oriana, or Morgana's flashing in, she's got her all down, and then Eve as well, it's just going to be decimating. I mean, what Bus Driver Connor's really going to have to do is look at fights and go, avoid it. We'll go around. You know, we'll. I mean, I reckon they're mm -hmm, more yeah. push towers down a little bit quicker, maybe, in the early game. Yeah, yeah. Well, late game as well, I'd say, because they got the Jinx down. And the... But I definitely think Bus Driver Connor, they definitely want to be split pushing. They want to try and uh, get some turrets without getting caught. And they've got a really high mobility team. Everyone on their uh, team has some form of escape or another. Yeah. And so I think, you know, as long as they don't get caught down, if they get caught down, they're going to be a slightly screwed. Because um, Vortex have got a great, like I said before, they've got great uh, AoE ultimates great for team fighting so they want to keep constantly rotations really just constant rotations and try not to get locked down by vortex <laughs> all right that's yeah i mean it... sorry i'm just reading the chat it's dumb hidden <laughs> <laughs> can't get this mic to work properly without we're giving too much static and feedback so no i really do think that literally the way bus connor wants to play it and the way they've seen it is like 
I mean, obviously, first pick and Vi, because let's be honest, Vi right now is still really strong compared yeah, to the Yeah, drums. yeah, definitely. Yeah, she's very strong. When played at, played right, she can pre six. She can just have so much uh, potential yeah. to help her to give her teammates an early lane advantage. I mean, if she comes, she ganks mid, bot or top, she <coughs> is pretty much going to be guaranteed a kill at least, even pre six. I mean, bottom lane yeah. you've got Karma's link. You know, mid you've got obviously it's chains from the blank, and then top obviously you've got the Pillar of Filth, I mean, it may not make too much difference with Pillar of Filth, but it's a massive slow. At least yeah, the, the, the bus drivers just have so much lockdown potential. They they just need to be... I think, I think they're going to be the more aggressive team. But I just think at the same time, if one of them gets caught out, say if Morgana catches one, it, you know, catches the Jinx, for example, in a team fight, or the LeBlanc, it's going to be uh, quite, a bit, quite a bit of havoc. <laughs> but we we shall see how it goes. The only thing I don't like maybe with Bus Connor's you know, lineup is the Trundle. I feel early game he's just weak. Yeah, he's he's not played much at the moment and I can understand why they picked the Trundle for mm. just because, you know, it it seems they're going for a heavy push and quick escapes because like Trundle can with his Q he can push down turrets really quickly and then he's got really decent escape you know he, he can get away quite easily not always but you know he's going to be tanky hopefully <laughs> Yeah, we are. he's going to have good mobility and then he's got his pillar of ice so I'm hoping for Bus Driver Connor that they do uh, take advantage of their comp Oh, and there's a pause straight away. Yeah, I'm thinking decent. Flying Panda has connection yeah. issues. It looked like it in chat, so... Mm, yeah. Seems like we will be waiting until Panda is back. Yeah, I mean, I know it's typical in it, really. A patch gets released <laughs> two days ago and then this happens. Yeah. All to anyway. expected on the US. <laughs> what do you think of the new uh, Summoner's Rift coming out? It looks amazing. Does it pretty good? It really does. The one thing I'm worried about is like, I think the map the looks. Oh, oh yeah. Flying Pan is back. Hopefully the game should be starting soon. I think the map looks too dark, but they have said that they're making it darker so it's easier to see abilities on the map. Yeah. I mean, but they I'm come to fine tuning for that. Hopefully they'll uh, tune it out a bit so it's not. Dota-ish, because it sounds a bit biased because I've never even played Dota, but <laughs> I, I, I don't like the uh, sort of concept of. You see, this is where how... it's handy. I've played Dota. And we're back in. <laughs> it doesn't look like that too bad, so it's all right. Apart from that, though, yeah, I agree. Map map looks really nice. Monsters, Dragon, Baron. Oh uh, yeah, definitely. Baron new abilities as well. I think yeah. that'd be good. Change the matter a lot. And off we go. The bus drivers running straight down the mid lane, pinging around top river. Vortex going down the bot lane, and oh. two drain dressers just flashed. <laughs> um, I don't know about you, but I think that wasn't intentional. I really don't think that was. <laughs> and. I think they want to invade, but they go from a really yeah. strange angle of Vortex. But, um, it's different. Pop I mean, in. Usually, a lot of people, and it's only solo queue based, really. That tribush plays havoc. I know that. So maybe it's just, if we go this way, we might avoid it and it won't catch us. And it seems like. I think they're gonna meet up in the river here. I think something big is gonna go down. It is level one is gonna be coming. Oh, I here it comes, back. guys! <laughs> oh, oh, go on! Oh, the blood! Oh, and that is first blood to vortex. Dan's caught out. Unfortunately, pretty bad idea when you're uh, walking through blind bushes on your own. I don't think they would have ever thought about that. No. It's easy to get distracted when you're elsewhere, like, 
if you're invaded and they've just picked up two more kills so that is a triple well not triple but a free kill lead already two minutes into the game for vortex and that eve on. ori and graves picking up so Every they're three main damage well. dealers yeah <laughs> And even and the support got free support yeah. assists, so which great start already, I mean, <laughs> yeah. wow, 1.4k gold lead, and we're only two minutes very, in. Very nice. Yeah, they completely, um, I think they, I think they buffed it, didn't they, in the last patch, the early game gold, from, because Riot want to encourage invading again, because, especially in like LCS and stuff at the moment, there's, People play really passively, and the first couple of minutes it's usually pretty boring to watch because it's not worth it for the gold. But they've uh, they've raised that gold stake now, and as you can see, it's given uh, Vortex pretty much a 15 15 uh, yeah. hundred gold lead already. I mean, I know we're saying we want Bus Connor to really play the early game. I cool. don't think that's worked. Uh, no, not yet. <laughs> And there's a pause, it seems uh, Loki has uh, disconnected and now, <laughs> and now posing Ata for Vortex, also DC'd now. Sorry about this chaps, hopefully we'll be back into the action shortly. Loki's back, but uh, it seems uh, basing Ata, basing uh, Nata, <laughs> God, that's a tongue twister, is a, uh, yeah, it's, is still DC'd, so I believe we'll be have to wait for him to get back. Nah, definitely the early game now, I mean, we can expect yeah, invades. that was just perfect for Vortex, that was just absolutely yeah. perfect, because it's going to make the bus drivers, I'm going to, I know it's bus driver corner, but I'm going to call them the bus drivers. Yeah, fair enough. <laughs> um, it's it's going to make them really, I think, it's going to make them more passive. I think they're going to be more hesitant about making plays, especially on bot lane, especially if that grays. I mean, he's got one kill, two assists, and, you know, when he goes, I mean, he's already 10 CS up. Yeah. They've taken the advantage in lane. And this is quite bad for, for bot lane, because I think the Jinx Karma poke was hoping to take the early lead there. So it just goes to show you, you know, how little changes, little invades at the start can really change the game. And we're back in the game now. No, definitely. I mean, the end of the game, what, was, what should have really happened with Bush drivers, they should have really maybe dropped a ward on one of their camps. I mean, they left a ward right in front of Baron. I mean, isn't really a common route if you're going to invade somewhere. Mm. So it's a bit of a strange... I mean, maybe it's miscommunication or just, you know, maybe they're, like, they're probably going to go this way. Mm, yeah. Really, if they dropped the second ward, that would have never happened. They would have probably caught them out. I mean, they may not have got a kill back from it, but they could have at least maybe traded half a kill. Or maybe forced some flashes out. And it seems like Goals is going in for the gank. Nice flash from Conroe, and he gets out of there nice and safely. But this is where the early Vi pressure comes back in. I mean, you know. Vi just simply came up from the river, charged her Q up, and just immediately gets rid of Shavana's Q. Um, sorry, Flash. <laughs> and she, she won't be able to uh, yeah, play I mean, so aggressively now. A teleport's down, so I mean, it's going to be back up very shortly, yeah. but still. And if you want to make a really quick play, I mean, if you want a good dragon early, maybe, you could do it. Even if she wanted to, like, tower dive, she probably won't have that chance now. If, she does manage to get uh, Connor down quite low, though, you know, a, a successful gank isn't always get a kill, you know, if, if you manage to force something out of it, it's always worth it. Yeah, definitely, I mean, right now Eve's just been farming the jungle, I mean, maybe what Vortex <laughs> want them to do is push every single lane out as far as they can, you know. I'm not sure why, I mean, maybe they're trying to force Dragon Fire, which or just taking Drake in the next two or three minutes. Well, Vortex are doing quite well in all lanes at the moment, so I think the best thing for Flying Pound to do right now is Count Jungle, and that looks like what he's going to do, which is good.
one thing I always hear sort of uh, sort of trainee junglers always say is, what do I do when uh, all my lanes are winning? <laughs> and you know, well, best thing, best next thing to do is if all your lanes are winning and you don't really know where to go, you can go and harass the enemy jungler. Yeah. Jungle. Stop the stop stop the enemy jungler from messing up your winning lanes. Oh yeah, definitely. Eve right now is one gold ahead of Vi already, so... Mm, yeah. It's paying off. If she keeps that up and doesn't let Vi come back at all, then... You can definitely see Vi not being non-existent. Now, Eve's put a really, um... Really early pink ward, which she bought with her, um... Invade gold. Oh, sorry, she's going back up top now. And... Connor has no pinks yet, so he has no idea that Flying Panda's right behind him. Although, I don't think that they're going to get a chance to... No, they're not going to go for it. They're not going to risk it. No, I feel Connor's like just... Trundle would have just walked it. I really do, mm, he's still yeah. got his flash. All he has to do as is a... his pillar and... Yeah, yeah, that down. would have been easy. Sometimes as well, you know, it's best not to just reveal yourself at all if you don't think you're going to get anything out of it. Oh, yeah. Because then it gives the enemies on the other lanes like the freedom to know that you're nowhere near, so they can play a bit more aggressively. Yeah, I mean, it's always good to have that uh, potential, to have that fear in your enemies to think, oh, you know, I can't make a play because what, what if Eve is there, you know? So, yeah, no, it's always the good. clear factor from Eve is great. Yeah, oh, I mean, it's with, huge. Yeah, with the removal of oracles and you know, making it into the uh, sweep awards. Mm. I wouldn't say it's made her too powerful because obviously she does have the AOE detection radius anyway. <laughs> but now it is like you have to buy a pink ward. Yeah. Otherwise, you are not going to see that Eve at all. <laughs> I mean, it is As scary speak, playing against mm. one. That, cause you you push lane too far out, that's it. You probably are going to die. I think someone on the bus drivers just uh, pinged exactly where. Uh, Flying Panda put the pink ward in their jungle, which is a really good place for a pink. Um, but I don't think no one's gone to get rid of it yet. I, I don't know if they speculated it could be there. Oh, no, Dan's. Oh, no, there we go. <laughs> I think that was speculation because they pinged it, but no one went to clear it, so they must have thought, oh, there might have been a pink there. Yeah. But they got rid of it anyway. Now Dan's has replaced it as well. Meanwhile, on bot lane, two dangerous graves is storming ahead in CS right now. He's uh, 40 CS, which is absolutely huge. 40 CS gold lead within eight minutes. And, you know, as I was saying before, just like how early invades, especially how they've uh, buffed the gold uh, values of early invade kills right now, early game kills, it's just given him a huge advantage and I think it's completely uh, made uh, Jinx and Karma just way too uh, scared to go in and uh, I think oh, oh, oh that's cut off. Yep, absolutely amazing play there by Karma, I mean shame he didn't actually manage to get on but the pillar straight into the Shivana wall, if he'd managed to get away Probably the luckiest guy alive, which could probably do the lottery. <laughs> but it's one of the great things I love about Trundle. I mean, their entire team comp. I mean, their Shivana has to deliver Oriana's ball. Mm -hmm. Trundle lands one more of those great um, pillars. That's it. It's, it's just going to be painful for them, to say the least. Flying Panda going in for a flying gank down mid, but LeBlanc with an easy escape. And this is why so many people just dislike Eve so much, just how just impossibly difficult it is to gank her with how easily she can just uh, teleport away effectively, distortion away, and uh, yeah. And al although they did get rid of the silence, so she's not a huge, as big as a threat as she was, but I've still seen her played a lot and 
I still sit see a lot of people do really well on her. So I, I, I think she's not going to fall out of the match. She's still a really uh, good pick. Oh, yeah. And I mean, it's just like the. Uh... Lion Panda looking like... to go for a gank behind. By going in with the ulti, Oriana down. The ball brings in the hill, won't be able to catch her. Vi takes out two turrets, hits, and they both go down. That was a really, really nice counter gank by uh, Flying Panda there. They had the ward, they had it all warded around the uh, top side of the river bush. They knew exactly where Vi was, and as soon as she came in, Flying Panda ready straight away to completely change that. And that was a really good hill bait by Basing Aether as well. Basing and Aether. <laughs> Such a tongue twister. Um, went really low on health, went under about 50 HP I believe, and she was slowed down by the Vi red buff as well, and then just as Vi starts taking turret hits, brings out the heal, but by that time Vi's taken another tower hit, and she's on 100 HP, and it just leaves Flying Panda an easy cleanup. Yeah, it was, um, I mean it was Slight off hand, if I had just got that all there, just, you know, a fraction second quicker, mm. it would have been completely different. It was literally, you could see the ultimate going just as she knocked her up. I mean, it's great to see these plays from just, you know, amateur teams. I mean, we're not going to obviously see LCS standards anytime soon, but you can oh. actually see the level of people, uh, level of skill people are playing at currently. Mm, yeah. Well, we've got a couple of um, big teams in there that are going to be playing. Um, I think Infused are playing tonight, and they're, they're a yeah. challenger team, so you could see some nice things to them. I've, I've played against them a few times, and they are just a, a really good team. Re really, um, really uh, highly skilled team. Yeah, I mean, you can see a slight difference in the lane. I know mm. Oh, yeah, and this is going to be a kill for Ori. No, yes. Dan's escaped. Yeah, with it. Oh, it is. Red buff got Oh, him. Ori, Ori red buff. Very unlucky for uh, Dan's there. He popped out the hill pots. Wasn't enough. And was looking to try and get Ori, but backs off. And there's... I mean... I think right, right now... Sorry, yeah, go on. I mean, bus driver right now has fallen into the stale end there. I mean, that's it. Mm. Their early game lead has completely dropped. Now, yeah. I mean, the only way they're going to get it really is if they start roaming this five and picking one out, one or two out, and ignoring the rest. Yeah, that's what they need to yeah, do. Yeah, definitely the snowball. I mean, you can see the complete difference in vision on the side, each side of the map. I mean, it's mm. one ward from a bus corner. Compared to two, three, four, five wards from a Vespa. Mm. Yeah, Vortex are just completely taking map control of wards right now, and yeah, they they don't have any any wards right now. Do they? Oh, they got they got one by Dan, so he's just popped down. But um, what I'm quite surprised to see is that um, bus drivers don't have any pinks. I yeah. believe uh, the block. Uh, Dan's bought one. Dan, sorry, he he bought one, but that's been uh, taken out. But the thing is, there's there's no point uh, buying normal wards against an Eve, you know, and unless you put them n somewhere near one of her jungle ganks, uh, jungle ganks, jungle camps, where she'll she won't be invisible because you know she'd just have been in combat with uh, some jungle creeps. But um, just no pinks and. Even though they might be a bit low on gold right now, I think the pinks are so important. Bell's coming down for a Vigank now. Does he have ultimate? No, he doesn't have ultimate. Maybe I'll get it if he can. Q back up. The Q comes back up. Not gonna go for it. Too dangerous. Flashes away safely. He's going back in though. Oh. Yep. Yeah, that <laughs> walks back that's in. What we actually, that's what we need for this car. I mean, that's yeah. two unanswered kills right now, I mean... He... Two kills for Jinx as well, yeah. Two kills on Jinx, she's going straight for an infinite edge, she's got 20,000 oh. saved her, and... 
Critic goes in with the flash ult on Morgana. Loki pokes him down a little bit, but just says, nah, you bugger off. Not event any more of you. But as you were saying before, yeah, the Jinx kills. I think that's what they want to aim for now. Get kills on Jinx as much as you can, because Jinx is a hyper carry late game. You know, she's going to be so useful. She could probably uh, do a lot for the team late game, but on top lane, Mind Panda doing a really nice gang, going around into the brushes at the top, waiting for the opportune moment. Connor going in aggressive and then comes out straight away. Seems Giles is going up, hoping to find Shavana. Not gonna check the bush. And Comrol gets away nice and safe. I've just noticed the Trundle versus the Shavana top, it's Connor versus Conroy. <laughs> so many tongue twists in this game right now. There is a fear. <laughs> what I'm actually quite uh, confused about is why Vesper hasn't actually bothered to go take Dragon yet. I mean, we've yeah, seen points in, and they haven't bothered him in. Shavana's teleports down. <coughs> Trundle's isn't. Oh. We've, got, we've got a kill. Again, going over to Graves, I mean, you can see the lockdown potential just from Morgana, I mean, she really doesn't need an orb to kill Karma at all. No. Know, Karma needs, really, to be playing it as, I'm going to constantly move, I'm going to shove Q's in front of you constantly, I'm going to use my chains constantly, I should be shielding. I mean, it's, I feel like it should have worked, it's not working as well. Oh, we've got another kill, it's gonna be unanswered. I've got Eve returning to the middle lane. Mine Panda catching out, no sorry, uh, Basing A to carrying out. Catching out, sorry. Catching out via the uh, shockwave there, and Eve managing to do enough damage. Uh, I believe Eve had red buff and it just expired, which uh, slowed her down and did the final part of damage. So, no turrets yet, but all of uh, bus drivers, bus driver Connors, out of turrets are under 300 HP. So, that's, that's going to be a huge gold boost for, for uh, Vortex uh, when they need it, which will come quite soon, really. And then, I think what uh, Vortex is doing right now, they're, they're just waiting it out. They, I think they're, you know how you were saying how they, uh, the bus drivers want to get together and try and catch people out. Yeah. I think Vortex are just trying to keep those turrets up and pressuring and forcing their enemy laners to just, you know, stay there because, you know, the outer turrets are just going to gobble up all the uh, minions otherwise. So I think they're trying to delay this out as much as they can, milk their advantage for every uh, penny it's worth right now. Let those turrets stand as long as they can. And paws coming out. Don't know who by. I don't know. I didn't see anyone disconnect, did you? No. Don't think anyone's disconnected. It might be. Lex. Oh, there we go. It's probably. Oh. oh my god. I think. I think five or six unique players have uh, disconnected this game. Well, that's not bad. <laughs> I'm just glad we've got pauses like this. Mm, yeah. I mean, we missed it, but the blank Thank you, actually based picked turn up a drop. solo kill on Oriana just then. Oh, did she? Yeah. And by the looks of it, I'm not sure how much. Hmm. So I'd put down Oriana surely to just win outright in the mm -hmm. matchup, just because LeBlanc is too far behind, I mean. I mean, it's only one level behind. Yep. Well, I mean, you can see at the CS differences. The only one uh, keeping up with uh, maintaining CS right now is uh, Connor on top lane, and that uh, CS advantage bot lane has just uh, got even, even huger for Vortex right now. 60 CS lead. Yeah. yeah. 60 CS lead on bot lane. And Graves is and 1600, uh, 1300 gold ahead of James. Middle lane. Mid lane, 40 CS lead, and I mean, you can see the gold differences, 7k gold difference in 19 minutes, which is huge. 
as I was saying before, um, Vortex trying to milk uh, the laning phase for everything it's worth right now. I don't think that if it wasn't for that invade, that they, that um, bus drivers would probably be more aggressive and the lanes would probably be closer in CS and kills. But because of the invade and given uh, Vortex that um, site lead, it's made them a lot more passive and I believe Vortex are just taking advantage of it. Like before how I was saying they want team fights, I think Vortex just, since they can see that um, bus drivers are in a vulnerable position right now, they're just saying, right, well, there's no need to change your tactics right now. You know, just, just keep grabbing that CS, let them waste time. They're going to keep falling behind. And then eventually when we get to team fights, we're going to have a huge advantage. And you can see right now, like, Eve has uh, has already started building um, health, even though she's already got uh, a damage items. She's got her um, built the Elder Lizard and a Hex Drinker to deal with uh, LeBlanc. So, and then Ori's got Nisidar's Rod. Graves already got his IE. So, it, Vortex are in a huge position right now. They did end up eventually taking that uh, dragon, but. I mean, uh, I think, uh, right now, Jinx isn't too far behind. If she gets 500 or more gold, she's got Infinity Edge, and mm. she'll be equivalent, really, to Grave. I mean, the only difference is he does have an extra 1600 gold sign his kitty. <laughs> so he goes back to lane, he's probably got his boots, and... I don't know, I'm feeling... I'm feeling Static Shiv. Yeah, yeah, Static Shiv would be a good pick. Hmm. And then definitely if Eve, because I mean Eve's now going for Giant's Belt, she's surely going to be having to go for the Randian's Belt. Mm. Randian's over. I, th I think as soon as these other two out of turrets go down for bus drivers, Vortex really want to start pushing down one lane really heavily because while they're still ahead, bus drivers aren't going to be able to team fight efficiently. And they don't, apart from. Jinx, I wouldn't say they've got sufficient wave clear, so I think that Vortex have a huge lead right now and they need to uh, milk it really and take advantage of the situation right now. And as I was saying before the game started, like, and this applies more than ever right now, I think the bus drivers really need to start uh, trying to split push as soon as they start seeing Vortex trying to make a move for a, like, all going down one lane. They, they want to just try and catch one out or something like that, but they just don't want to don't want to fight at all. Really, they just want to try and get objectives. They, they've got hype carry Jinx, who is absolutely amazing at getting down turrets fast late game. And one turrets going down. Oh, Jinx is absolutely deleted. Caught by the Morgana snare. And do you do you think? Uh, I'm interested here. Do you, do you think that Morgana's snare is uh, too strong? Three second snare? Because there's a lot of debate about whether Morgana should get a nerf. And I think a lot of people say it's worth it because I think like the three second snare is deserved because the snare is quite slow and it can be blocked by minions and stuff. But at the same time, a lot of people were saying three seconds is just way too long. No, I don't think it is. Look at the rest of Morgana's kit. She has Tormented Soil, Black Shield, and Shackles. Isn't Which, to be fair, is pretty nice. The Black Shield, especially, really yeah. useful. I mean, the only lockdown you've got is a support, and you want a support that can do well in locking down, really, if you want to yeah. snowball properly. So I, th I think she's one of those supports that you have to be really good at timings with, especially with Black Shield as well. Because if you miss your Black Shield and you start getting... Because, I mean, if you start getting crowd controlled as Morgana before you've got your chance to uh, use Black Shield, then chances are you probably won't get a chance to use it. Because you'll be dead. Because <laughs> she, she is a very squishy... Very squishy yeah, support. It's the trade off in it, I mean, she's mm. got two lockdowns. The high snare, risk, high reward. Yeah, I mean, she can die easily, I mean, as soon as she gets Zonia's on her with her all mode, that's it, you know. Flash plays all day. But, I mean, 
needs the support, she really can't be properly rushing it. You know, she has everything else to get first. Blazing 80 and Conroy picking up the third and final out turret for Vortex. And that's just completely widened their lead even further. And they're 9k up right now, which is absolutely huge. And like I said before, you know, they want to try and take advantage of this while they're still ahead. So, as you can see, I think Eve is ready to start grouping. I, I don't know. I think all of Vortex, they seem to still be quite um, interesting just staying in their lanes right now. They're not going for any kind of... Oh wait, they might be here. Sorry. Basic and Ata coming bot lane. They gave them the full so, this is, this is what I meant before, how you know they want to start roaming now. They want to start getting together. And there we go. Jinx caught out completely. And Eve is going to pick that. Oh no, Graves picks it up, the ulti. He didn't really need to do that, but... Because Eve could have easily picked up the kill, but I think it's just to secure the kill for the AD carry, which would be more useful than on the Eve. No, no, definitely. And I mean, you see the way it hmm. works. They go straight for Morgana. Morgana had Jinx's all blown on her, so that's gone. Hmm. Quest for Zinx and Tyron gone, right? Like, screw it. They've just blown everything like roll right down the bot lane right now. And it's the too easy on them to kill straight there. I mean, well, they've just, they've just picked it in a turret and bot lane now. I mean, I think they're now they've gone a lead as this better, or this far ahead. We need to just go. Because, I mean, I'm not going to say it can happen. I do feel like Buscon, if they played it safe enough, they really could bring it back. Vortex doing an absolutely amazing job with the warden right now all over. Um, bus driver's jungle, like nearly every bush in their um, the red side of their jungle has got warden right now. And, the, you know, map control is such a defining and huge factor of so many matches. Just, just having that pressure, like, against your enemies for them to worry, you know, oh, what, what if they can see me right now, like, like so many games I've played in the past where <coughs> I'm losing quite hard and uh, the enemy has warded all my jungle like so well and you know I'm worried to even go to my wraiths or, or something like that because like even though they might be at base or something I feel like their warding control is so good that you know I'm, I'm too scared to go in and they, they've done that really well and Vortex picking up the second dragger their uh, dragger Dragon of the game. Constantly, as, as I was saying before, you know, they're grouping now, they've taken those out of turrets. They're just gonna group up. They, they can't really fight. Bus driver, Connor, trying, uh, Gwil's trying to go in. Misses his Q. Even if he wanted to go in, he was, his mm. team was way too far out of position for him. I, I, I think the rest of his team just didn't want to fight. I, I think, you know, they're saying, no, we, we just. We're not in any position to have a team fight right now. But they've caught out Morgana. Is it going to be enough? Fight goes in. They go back. Oriana catches out Vibe with the. And the Trundle. But Vibe goes in on her own. But there's no one to follow up. And Vibe is completely deleted. And I think. This is again how you're saying. Just like. Uh, no, no one was there to follow it up. And I, th I think it's really uh, affecting the bus drivers really right now. Well, they're desperate right now. Mm. I mean, five yeah. guys in that day, you can walk that lane. I mean, you've already seen half the team split up anyway. Oh, God. Are they going to re engage with it? Oh. The damage just isn't there right now, unfortunately. No. I mean, calm, calm, that was a really, really nice uh, Karma Q, but it just barely did any damage. And like I said, there's just there's just no follow up. I mean, if you look at um, Bus Driver's comp, they don't really have any hard CC. Apart from Vi's ultimate, and then when Vi's dead, they can't really do much. You know, they're gonna find it hard to catch people out. They've they've got the Karma snare, they've got the LeBlanc snare, but both those snares work really differently. That it takes time to uh, you know, to work. You know, there's a delay, and they're just not getting that opportunity because uh, Vortex is so ahead in, uh, in damage. They're just not having the chance to go in uh, deep enough to be able to catch people down like that. 
And th this is what I was saying about how they just want to split push right now. Bus drivers just want to split push. They want to avoid fighting because all it's doing, they're getting harassed. They're losing more CS. They're, they're losing, the, you know, the gold advantage. The Vortex is getting bigger by the minute. And Jinx wants to try and wait um, until, you know, they start trying to pressurize the turret. And she wants to just go, go, go off somewhere, tr try and force some turrets. But because right now, if they all just group, they're, they're not getting anywhere with it. They, you know, they've already displayed it's. They're too far behind. They have to be passive. They they can't engage right now. No, I mean and it looks like they're gonna have to sacrifice this ripper. They will get ripper. No. Oh. Nope. Oh. You you took that. Yep. Yeah. Early smite by girls, and it's picked up by another smite by flying panda. I mean, what is interesting to know is like the Vespers middle and bottom outer turrets are actually not full of HP, they're actually just above half. If you know bus car bus drivers get at least one good team fight where they can knock out three or four of them, they should easily be able to pull back a nice little lead with the two towers getting. I mean it's gonna be hard. We've seen how desperate they've already got. Mm. They continue to be desperate. There's not gonna get them anywhere. I'm not going to be surprised if we see Vesper setting up for a Baron attempt fairly soon. Mm. I mean, we're looking at Graves with Infinity Edge. That's Whisper and... Last Pinocchio. Whisper, yeah. <coughs> I mean, he's already... He's 3,000 gold ahead of Jinx. Pretty sure he's going for a Yumu's Ghost Blade right now. And they, they buffed that as well in the last patch. They've uh, lowered the cooldown. Of Yumu's back down to 45 seconds when it was originally 60 seconds. Well, I mean, it was 45 seconds before that, then they put it up to 60. Now they've put it down, back down to 45. But it's become much uh, much more uh, AD carry friendly because whereas before it used to be, it used to work the active for 4 seconds um, for ranged champs and 6 seconds for melee, now it's 6 seconds for both. And here we go again. It's the same stuff, different day. They're, they like Connors. The bus drivers have all gone down mid, and you know they're, they're just like they're almost insisting on Vortex. They're waiting for them to make the plays, you know. Yeah. They they, they want to be getting out there. They want to be pressurizing Vortex into saying no, like get away from our turrets, you know. Come catch me or whatever. They they right now they're just standing there. They they're, they're wasting time. Meanwhile, you can see Vortex. Because they've got such great ward and map control, they're just walking around the map. That they're doing what they want to do. Whereas, meanwhile, uh, the bus drivers are just waiting for them to make a move, and it's not getting them anywhere right now. Uh, here we go. We've got Jim Solomon coming out. It's gonna yeah. let them see they're taking a the ban. I, mean, I don't know if they could go for it, but Byron's dying way too quickly for them to even get them in here. Yep, this is gonna be and we still got the, uh, easy for the base right. as well. So they definitely would never be able to get anywhere near And again, this is just why map control is just so huge. I mean, it, if not for that Jinx ult, they would have had no idea that Vortex is doing Baron there. And, you know, they, they just took it without a problem. There was no problem. There was no fight at all. And this is what I was saying about how they're just letting Vortex do whatever they want. Damn. And even, like, I mean, See, they're, they're all ready at the turret, but they're being passive. I mean, that turret's just been taken out for, for nothing. And, you know, they need to be pressure. They need to force something. Um, it's a, a phrase I, uh, I heard a few months ago, which I, I really enjoy, is, um, you know, at any time your enemy takes something, you know, take something back, you know, always make them pay for taking something. You know, if they take dragon, force the turret, or just always keep your enemy on your toes really, always try and get them away from doing what they really want to do and just don't don't let them roam because right now Vortex, I mean it's nearly a 20k gold lead right now, the bus drivers are just, you know, just, just waiting for Vortex to make plays and they shouldn't, they, they should start pressurizing them, try not to get caught but right now just uh, waiting for them to make plays isn't going to get them anywhere.
yeah, they're sat there and they're letting them poke them. I mean, you've got an Oriana and Morgana. That's just what. Here we go. This is what I like. Kind of, kind of with the transport, the split pushing. I, I feel like he should ward before he starts doing yeah, that. But eat. oh, he's gonna get a kill. Nice, yeah, nice gets... flash, and he does and get he it. But this is what I mean, how, you see how that's forced out the Shyvana TP, it's forced Evelyn to come top. Yeah. And now mid lane, look, they're pushing up mid lane now, now they're gonna get another turret. This is what I'm talking about, brilliant, excellent. That's exactly what they need to do. And then you've got Vi and Bot, no one is at bot lane, and she is probably gonna be able to pick up that turret. Great counterplay by bus drivers, this is exactly what they need, exactly what yeah, they had to do. It was. it was an amazing trade, they lost Trundle. But they forced the Shivana teleport. They forced they forced free top. It's, it's yeah. great. I mean Oriana died in mid lane anyway. Fires got the ball on that. That's what they need. They're now the game back. Brilliant, yeah. They've, they've they've just taken three turrets and they've just shut down graves. They've just turned it Okay. Vortex is still ahead, but they've just taken a twenty K gold lead to fifteen K. You know, that's all it took. And right. if they keep managing to do stuff like that, they, they can really come back into the game right, right now. I'm just, I just really hoped that they had done it earlier because I still think, you know, it's going to be really hard for them to get back into this game. But something like that, if they keep managing to do stuff like that consistently, putting pressure on Vortex to, to chase them, to not um, focus like more important objectives, then, you know, they still have a chance. I mean, right, it's, it's great when you see a team that finally, they're like, they actually get this courage. I mean, I don't know whether it's a turning point in the fact that they're like, right, I've got my main item. I've got this item. Let's go for it. I mean, that's probably what you want to be waiting for. I mean, we've seen we've seen the Triforce on by. I don't think it's probably the best pick for an item right now because of how far mm. behind she is compared to Eve. I feel like yeah. if she'd gone for the Randian's Omen, and you know, maybe ooh, I don't know, some fire. Yeah. Something like that is you know, a lot better. You see LeBlanc just dropping over the wall, dropping everything on her. I mean, that's what we need. We need LeBlanc to do a job as an assassin. She has to mm. come from over the wall, over the trees, and literally burst the high priority tar targets of Orianna and Gravesdown. She keeps doing that then their team fight should mm. go a lot smoother because that's a lot of damage to come down from Vesper with Oriana, Ultima and then Graves just constant the damage because he's got the static shift and the last weapon now with the BF sword. Mm -hmm. Yep, I'm really liking what they're doing. I really wish that um, the bus drivers stopped buying some pinks now. They, they really need pinks, not only for Eve, but just to have some permanent wards down on the map. Just, just a bit of comfort, you know, because right now well, they've got one pink, but right now you can see most of the map is just being dominated by Vortex in terms of warding. And admittedly, this, they've got a few down, but they they need to start taking more control than that. They need a lot and, more control. Mm. I mean, they've only got one sweeping lens as well. A sw sweeping lens, sorry, as well. <laughs> I mean, and, playing against a bar, uh, any, you want more than just the one. And bus drivers have gone back to what they were doing before, and I think it's a bad idea because yeah, the exactly there you go. Look, and this is what I was talking about: the vortex team fight nearly coming out. The rest of bus drivers managing to get away. They need to force that a lot quicker. I mean, if they had a few more sweeping lines, it would have been a while there. Got the yeah. blank constantly on the side, you know. But oh, blank caught out here. Oh. Flashes, but not enough. Well played by Vortex, and they're gonna start pressuring this turret now. But the thing is, before this team fight broke out, I mean, you know, they were pushing other lanes, but as soon as they started seeing uh, Vortex running down mid, they they all recalled. I mean, sure, they're not um, winning team fights, but they probably. Like Vortex probably would be so aggressive if they, if uh, bus drivers had someone else pushing another lane, you know. I mean, look at look at those waves right now on top and bot. Like that that's a huge potential. If the rest of the bus drivers could prevent um, Vortex from recalling, 
while one of their teammates was pushing up a lane. You know, they could easily get a dragon out of that. Um, dragon <laughs> inhibitor out of that. You know, potentially at the risk of losing their inhib, but the thing is, if they just all group anyway, they're just going to lose their inhib like they have done here, and they haven't taken anything back for it. I mean, you saw that play before with uh, where Connor was top, and they took out three outer turrets just simply because they're split pushing. And I just think they need, they need to just need to get back into that rhythm of just doing that, like being ready to take, be prepared to take risks like that. Definitely. I mean. The way it's going to work, you know, they need the lanes, they need, the bus driver needs their lanes to get pushed right out, they need that. They then need to try and force half the fight on one map and try and drag at least one or two of them away from it. So you send your trump, I reckon that what they should really do, if West Wars going to go for Baron attempt right now, they should have sent Trundle to the bot lane, push right up to the tower, if possible, and then go for the Baron, so that way you, know, you can try and get at least something. I mean, it'd be good if he, if he, even if he TP now, but he's got a big wave there, he, he could easily grab a turret. But, yeah, you know, I mean, look, they, they've given up Baron, and then they're, they're not forcing anything in return. Um, what we need to do right now is turn around and find. That's what we need to do. Here we go. Perfect dial on the back line. Shame. I wouldn't oh, say. It's a perfect. No one's else to follow up, but Ori managed to get a nice shockwave. Gap catches out two more and see pretty sure this could be game yeah, yeah. there's a surrender vote. well played gg to vortex it was a great game i think I'm yeah it was say. a good game it was a good game and it is it is a shame because boss drivers really had the potential to turn it there uh, yeah. at the end well you know if they had done that split pushing play a lot earlier you know as soon as they started losing their turrets Rather than just grouping up and letting Vortex take control of their own jungle as well, you know, they, they need to pressurize Vortex, like, keep them split apart, make them waste some of the spells, like teleport, shove on the teleport, or whatnot. Just keep them running around on their toes, not letting them all gather together because Vortex's comp was just perfect for team fights, and there's nothing that bus drivers could do in that situation. Yeah, yeah, I mean, what, this, what probably could have done better is bus drivers literally should have just gone balls to the wall on it and gone for it. Mm. Yeah. I mean, that's what League's all about. You've got to take risks sometimes. <laughs> and I, I feel like uh, bus drivers, they're, they're, they're just too passive. They're, they're too passive. They, um, they just let Vortex do what they want on the map. And I feel like if, if they continued what they're doing and... I mean, what Connor did was amazing and he forced three of them top Vi was on her own bot lane she managed to get that the rest of the bus drivers were pushing mid and it was only LeBlanc in mid you know there was nothing that LeBlanc could do and just uh, they, they just had a perfect comp for pushing turrets and I think they just needed to uh, make the most of that but unfortunately uh, unfortunately Vortex uh, played it really well Really well played by Vortex, and uh, they kept huge pressure on, huge pressure on uh, bus drivers with the uh, with the warding. Ward warding just so important. Best thing you can do ever. <laughs> mm.